All right. Lesson number four. Be mentally fit. Protect your mind. Our minds are so delicate. So don't let certain people or certain things into your mental space, especially in these times, if you know what I'm saying. You know, don't let certain things into your mental space, space. so TV, the internet, social media. You know, sometimes when you watch something on TV, it becomes printed in your mind, or you see something on social media, you see something on, on someone's page, it becomes printed in your mind. Sometimes it's negative, okay? Sometimes it's very low vibe stuff, low vibe content, maybe some TV series that after you watch it, it just sort of drags you down. It drags down your energy. You, When you began watching it, you were very high vibe, high energy, very positive. By the end of it, you're having all of these like low vibe thoughts, all of these like, just all of these negative thoughts towards the world, towards people, you know, the, the you know, you know, certain, um, music you listen to, certain music videos. Protect your mind. And you know, I know sometimes people think, oh, well, that won't affect me because, you know, I'm so conscious or I'm so aware, woke, whatever. Therefore, I can listen to whatever. Like, I can listen to very nasty music or, like, watch certain TV series or certain movies that are really... The content is quite... um, the content is quite is quite negative, like it's quite you know like low content. Um, but they feel like ah no, it won't affect me. Hmm. You don't know because our minds are so delicate, you know. And then there's the subconscious mind, right? So then you're absorbing all of this. It's printing itself into your subconscious mind. You really don't know what effect it's having on you. Um, so mental fitness, mental fitness, train your mind. And part of this mental fitness thing is to block out negative thoughts, to block out those self-deprecating thoughts, those thoughts that put you down, like, you know, I suck, I can't do it, those low self-esteem thoughts, you know, and all the people who, I don't know, whoever did something to you as you were trying to rise, as you are trying to shine, you know, the people who told you you couldn't do it, those people I mentioned in the last point, the friends or the family members, those people who were in your close space, but they didn't have your best interests at heart, they sought to harm you. They sought to break you. They saw that you were strong, that you were confident, that you were just self-actualizing, you know, trying to fulfill your purpose in life, trying to fulfill the reason Allah has put you on earth, trying to fulfill, you know, self-actualize and fulfill your purpose in this world. They saw you just moving positively and for whatever reason, they, they, they wanted to come in, they wanted to bring you down, they wanted to break you. And they didn't succeed in breaking you, but they succeeded in getting into your mind with their little, you know, nasty, nasty thoughts, their little, you know, low vibe actions. And then your mind, again, plays those games on you and you're thinking, wow, why me? Why me? Why would they do that? Why would this happen to me? Why? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So part of this mental fitness point is to stop all that chatter, to stop all that chatter to realize that those people, you know, they're just low vibe, they're low vibrational people, they're miserable, they're not happy with their own lives. So they saw in your life what seemed to be, what seemed to be something they wanted to have. It's a jealousy thing. They saw in your life what seemed to be what they wanted to have. Instead of realizing the blessing in their own life, okay? I have a video on this somewhere. Instead of realizing the blessing in their own life, how Allah has blessed them, because we're all blessed, instead of being grateful for their own blessing, they saw your blessing, and they wanted to come after you for your blessing. Allahu Akbar. Okay, so anyway, part of this mental fitness point is you've got to mute all those thoughts. Leave all that in 2021. 2022 is a new year. It's our year. This is our year, okay? Um, so be mentally fit. We don't have time for those thoughts anymore. Those thoughts that will stop us from fulfilling our goal, reaching our purpose. We just got to keep it moving. We got to keep it moving. So be mentally strong. Read books. I have some books here. You know, this one, The Magic of Thinking Big. I'm reading Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. I love it. It's so hilarious. So good. But, you know, just always keep your mind busy, engaged, active, and keep doing things. Keep, you know, start your business your online business that you've always wanted to start 
because the more you keep your mind busy, engaged with reading, with, with working on your business project, with going back to school, with whatever it is, the less time you'll have for those negative thoughts, the less time you'll have to be dragged back down, you know, into that place, into those thoughts, all those people. You just won't have time for it because you're just like moving, moving, moving. Lesson number five, and this is the final one, is to purify and cleanse your soul always. Don't seek to harm people. And if you've been harmed, never seek revenge. Okay, never seek revenge. Revenge is for God only. Revenge is for Allah only. When I say never seek revenge, I don't mean don't seek justice. Get justice. Do what you have to do as much as you can. You know, as much as you can. But be strong. Stand up for yourself. If you need to tell someone off, tell the person off. You know, get justice. But never seek revenge. If someone's harmed you, don't seek to harm them back. No. No, no, no. That's for God only. You can ask God to, you know, take revenge on your behalf, but never seek revenge. And uh, it's for God only. And then, too, if you seek revenge and you try to harm someone the way they've harmed you, you will be lowering yourself. You'll be lowering yourself to them, basically, you know, to that low vibe, to that low energy, to that bad character, all those bad character traits that they have, that they took out on you. You'll be doing the same thing. So never seek revenge. Purify your soul always. And in doing that, be careful of the little traces you leave. The little traces, the, the you know, the, the dirty footprints, the, um, the little lies you leave. This one is very important. But here's what I mean. You know, because we all hope to live our best life. Most people on the planet, if you ask them, they have their goals. I want this, I have that. We all hope to live our best life in terms of money, in terms of marriage. You want to get your ideal spouse. Uh, children, your ideal job, whatever. We all want our best life. But what you do on the path to your best life, I think, will will actually shape your best life. is very important. Here's what I mean. Because like, if on your path to your best life, you're busy bringing people down, once you get your marriage or your money or your ideal car or whatever it might not be as blessed as you hoped it would because on your journey there you hurt so many people you harmed so many people and in your mind it might not have been a big thing it might have been like a little lie here a little stabbing this person in the back there you thought they were minor but they weren't minor you know because the effect they had on that person's life on that person's self-esteem on that person's mind wasn't minor right so be clean as you're going through your, as you're on your journey to your best life. You know, if you want your ideal spouse, you want a good spouse, a loyal spouse. When you're single, don't try to go after someone else's spouse. Make things as clean as possible so that the blessing you can have, the reward you'll reap when it's time for your own best life, whatever that means to you. It means different things to different people. You know, when it's time for your own, we'll be so blessed, you know, so always purify your, your soul, cleanse yourself, um, be very mindful of, of the little actions, the little things you do, uh, don't seek to harm people, don't get involved in people's life in a negative way, and your own will be so blessed. So that's the final lesson. Thank you all for, for listening. Okay, it's not done yet. The video's not done. Stay where you are. Yeah, so those are the lessons I've learned from 2021. Going into 2022, just boom, boom, boom with all of these. Let me summarize them quickly for you. Listen to your spirit. Cultivate happiness every day. Bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. Four, mental fitness. Protect your mind. Number five, purify your soul always. Yeah, so um, I want to hear from you guys. So what are some of your, just checking to see my mic is, is there. Uh, I had to get myself a mic because when I listened back to some of my videos, my voice was so quiet. So I needed, needed a way to amplify my voice so it doesn't seem as if I'm shouting at you, right? Um, what are some of your aspirations for 2022? Maybe some things that were holding you back in 2021, like I've just shared, um, that, you know, 2022, you've just said, now this is going to be my year. And one thing I want to share with you all is that I'm really excited for this year, 2022, alhamdulillah, for this new opportunity. Um, and I really am going to make it my year. 
because I know in the past I've had this tendency to hesitate sometimes. I wanted to do something, even wanted to come on here and make a certain video. I hesitate, I get nervous, I get really shy. Um, this might come as a surprise to some people. Some people don't think, you know, I'm shy or I hesitate, but I'm actually super shy. And I hesitate a lot to do certain things, uh, to grab certain opportunities, but 2022, I'm just going to do it because I know I have so much to share with the world and I'm excited to share it all with the world. Um, so I'm not going to let anything hold me back. I'm just going to jump into it and do it. And, um, you know, sometimes we limit ourselves. We dim our own light. And I think it's all due to fear, like whether the fear of how is the world going to perceive it? What are they going to say about my video? They're going to criticize me, da, 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 da. Or the fear of, you know, I might lose something if it's a business you're trying to start. Or fear of rejection, you know, for example, um, trying to make a new friend, trying to, <laughs> trying to get a spouse or something. But I find, you know, when you get in the habit of just doing it, just uh, sort of jumping into it, it, it will reduce our fear. It'll kill our fear. So don't hold back don't hold back and as much as i say this to you i'm saying this to myself don't hold back so let's make 2022 our year i'm so excited for it please leave your your thoughts in the comments and share with me what's something that you're leaving behind in 2021 or a lesson you learned from 2021 that you're going to make sure um you know a lesson that you've learned you're going to make sure you 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 know you listen you act on it um share all of that in the comments thanks so much for watching my video everyone have a great day please don't forget to subscribe to like like the video so much share it with your friends your friends who you think would benefit from this share it with them and don't forget to like thank you everyone Bye. available at stores near you get yours now so you don't miss out until next time Oh, Andy, I'm going to be a